If you got if you got yeah, a Muslim yeah, name these days, it's like you could, you're you're suspected as you know you could be the next suicide bomber. If young Asian yeah. and Muslim is like being like a big young black and American, you know what I mean? They'd rather us be all messed up in the head than be religious. Put it that way. That's they think religion saying. is bad, but it makes us good people, not violent people. I think it's like when we get westernized, that's when the drugs and the alcohol kicks in and people get messed up. Whereas where our religious leaders are here. They tell us to live in harmony, but due to all the media coverage that you get of these British-born Muslims, we look like we could be the next, you know, seven, what is it, the uh, train bombings and that. They were British-born kids, in it? Like, so we get that image. Whereas we live here, we're our country, you know what I mean? It's either you're like, you have to be an alcoholic and that to be accepted, or you're, you're like, you know what I mean? If you wear a mosque hat, and you walk with a limp, you're like, you know, you, people look at you different. I'll, I'll go for interviews for jobs. As soon as you tell them your name, it's like, yeah, we get back to you. That's what I'm saying. I fucking, I've applied for eight, play eight jobs, eight, nine jobs. None of them replied back. They don't reply it's back. Reply back yeah, to at I'm least tell you. You need a reply at back. Yeah, at least say, say sorry, you ain't got the job. No, That's what I'm saying. definitely. Yeah, when you get on the bus, you, if you got a rucksack or some shit. Oh my god, then yeah. You yeah. get people just eyeing you yeah, up. Yeah, it's yeah. like. It's not even, you know what? The young, like. This country's just hating on Muslims, basically. Yeah, and we're starting to feel it. They're try, yeah, trying to bring them down, basically. The looks, it's the eyes, you know, more than words. I think eyes talk. Yeah, and they look at you like in like. Obviously, there's a few people that the English people who see us every day. They're all right. They give us smile. They smile at us, and they understand that because they've lived alongside Muslims and had no trouble, so they can accept that. I think it's the people that don't know any Asians or any Muslims. They're the ones that think that we're all bad. Because there's a lot of conservative, conservative thoughts growing. Like even the young white boys are like all got skinheads now. Like it never used to be like that, innit? I got English very I went to a mixed school. I had white girlfriends. But it's like, it's, you can't be a bit of both now. If you talk a bit about a religion, it's like, they don't want to know you. They want you to eat bacon and drink alcohol, or otherwise, it's like, they want us to accept their culture, but they don't want to accept anything of ours. Like, your mates, the mate always invites you to the pub, but you never come to the mosque with you, you know what I mean? So no matter how much, we have to be like them, but they won't accept us. It's like this boy here, like, he, he's a good lad and that, but it's because he wears a cap and that, and he's got, he don't have a shave and that, people always like, look at him funny. Really, he comes from a very good background, he's a nice lad. But we get looked at as if, like, we're from the ghetto, when we're not. We're from, like, civilised, you know what I mean? Communities we come from. And our community, community's never done nothing wrong. Basically, what happens with Bengali people is girls, basically. From a little thing, it becomes a really big thing. That's mm. the main thing in Plus, rumours as well plays a big part as well. In the Bengali community, rumours. In the Bengali community, rumours and a lot of people make up stories. And it's like they spread the stories around really quickly. <laughs> like, for example, if I'm telling this person, this story to another Bengali person, he will go into telling another one and adding certain bits to it as well. He's going to twist it. He's going to twist it and add some spices to it. People from but different areas. That's what we're talking about, past it at the time. At this time, it really it's happened. Rare. One in ten times, I think. Yeah. Today, we're talking about the past. Like we've experienced when we were little kids. Well, there are still problems. Minor problems, not that big. Small issues. Maybe. Like people getting drunk. Once or twice every two weeks. It is true, <laughs> but media perpetuates everything anyway. They add a lot of bullshit to it anyway. It does happen though, drinking does Yeah, happen. it does happen, but you have to think about it. It's not only the big Every Friday, Saturdays. Everyone does that from different ethnic as well. White people do that, black people do that. It's just they're focusing, I personally think, they're focusing on the Bengali community at the moment. It's because it's pretty plain. Well, like uh, the higher class people, when they come come over, like they look at us a lower class. Like their children look at us a lower class as well. Smirk, they've got the smirk on their face as well.
Because the main reason is, I think, the government. Because in this area, you'll only see Bengalis. In Acne, you'll only see African Caribbean. In Stepney Green, you'll see Somalians. It's the government, they're keeping us separate. If they were to give us houses like as a community, there wouldn't be any problems. I don't want to leave this area because it's home. But been for it. the sake of my kids, yeah. I have to. I don't want them to be like me. Just like we, we don't want them to grow up like the way we did, innit? Seeing things. The way we but saw every, them. Yeah. But every, every, every single second, things change, innit? But obviously, like, don't want to leave this area. Like, grown up here, seen everything, and like, people love you, care about you as well. You see the same faces that your family mm. You ch see them as your it, own family. It's going to be totally different and uncomfortable, like, moving right now. Like being adults, we know this area really well. But if it was like if we were young kids and moving, then it wouldn't have affected us that much. But now I think it would affect us a lot. Every time there's something going on, they make the, a, the Muslims the as Muslims. the um, yeah, whatever happens. Culprits. Like people, the uh, cameraman, news reporters, they're coming in to be playing, filming straight away. And like. Basically, we feel uncomfortable, isn't it? Like whenever things happen in the news, like they straight away come to us, film without our permission, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. but we, the main thing is that they don't ask anyone's permission. Like they go inside the mosque or they outside stand outside the, house. the mosque and start filming yeah. all the people coming out, talking, and then say and like that they're talking about upset, something yeah. else. And because of that, we can mix with other people of different religions because yeah. they're scared of us. Mm. Plus, like people from different backgrounds, like they think we're wrong with us, isn't it? Like, they think that like, definitely there's something going the on. The media twists yeah. everything, basically. Yeah. It's the media. There's no way we can change that because unless we're we have a working with power. them, yeah. in a way. Otherwise, there's no way we can change. If we can control the media, then we can make a change. But other than that, we can't. I'd like to be a youth worker, look after the children, guide them to their straight path. That's my main target. Look where I'm at now. No proper qualifications, no proper like socializing Experiences. facilities and stuff like that. Again, I think it's the government. They don't like us. And They've not given us the opportunity to do to do stuff. It's like if you go Kent, you see big mansions there, big parks, size of like what Chelsea Football Club. Look at look at us. We're using a garden basically and enjoying ourselves. We didn't have basically we didn't have the facilities. We didn't have the facility that like, we did have. It wasn't enough for all of us. Like there were certain people that could go and do like that course or something like that. Certain people c can go to that residential or trip. Others couldn't. Like basically, it wasn't fair enough. Like for example, youth club. But like, the thing is, the youth club people say like we don't have enough funding from the government. So basically, the government doesn't uh, give enough money to the youth club. It's the Somalian community also like us, they ain't getting enough. Yeah, they ain't getting enough as well. Like, yeah, M a couple of Somalian friends as well, like they ain't getting enough as well. They're struggling as well. Living in a small house, overcrowded as well. Not enough facilities, no youth clubs and stuff like that. We ain't gangs, we're like friends. We're friends, that. friends. But they stick media, up for each other. Yeah, it's like the media sees us. We're as friends, gangs. but they they tag us as gangs. Mm. Whenever we're like gangs. We're, whenever we're lo walking like four or five of us, it's called a gang. It's, it's not called friends. a gang. Like whenever, the will if come white up. people from work finish work, they're walking together. Mm. They won't be called a gang. They'll be called friends that colleagues have or colleagues, like that. colleagues like that. 
Like, like let's when see we're those coming games over, like, let's from, see them differently. Yeah, whenever we're coming from college or something like that, football matches or something like that. Even a football like, team is called a gang. Yeah, like four or five of us, like people come over and say, look, you're a gang, like we're scared of you, something like that. The media as well, we're, we're in hooded tops and stuff. There's a lot of things about going in the media about hooded tops. Well, personally, it doesn't affect me because I'm not, I don't know hooded tops. But the thing is that, yeah, um, police officers, when they come over, say, like, we, we need to separate these people who don't feel safe in the community. But if you ask the community people, they, they say they don't have any problems with it because they know each other, they won't do this kind of thing. There are no gangsters in this community. It's everyone's like hanging Friends. around with like different age groups. Like we're 18, yeah. We, we like we're gonna hang around with 18 to up, up above like 22 year old people. But like we want nine, eight, seven year old kids. They won't hang around with us. Like they have see, their own group of. They friends. have their own group of friends as well. Like or gangs as they certain things that you can talk about with them and joke around with them. There's certain things like yeah. So like it's not possible like everyone hanging around fifty year old, thirty year old, twenty year old, ten year old hanging around with each um, all together. That 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 will never happen. It's not possible at all. Like different people like to hang around with different age groups. The media creating conflict. Yeah, basically they they yeah. want something to happen between us. They want if, like, if yeah. they wanted they could have said why aren't the English people mixing with the Somalian people? But the media is controlled is by white people. But the thing is that they want to see different cultures, races clashing with each other and having a laugh with me. But it's, n it's never like that. The Trust me, it's never like that. Light of the matches to the fire. It's like, if it was like that, then we would have honestly said it. But it's, it's never like that. If you come into the, if you go to East London mosque, then you'll see like any mosque like here, you'll see people from Somalian backgrounds, from Algerian, Algerian like all sorts of people coming, even white people as well, white Muslims. They're all coming there, like praying together, having a laugh. Especially in Ramadan as well, everyone gets together. It happens now, but in the Ramadan, like everyone like joins up, brings food together, and stuff like that. It's it's, it's absolutely rubbish. I'd be very surprised if it, which paper it was. Derek's very special to the community. It's like everyone knows him. He's well known in the community. Even very well known. From the younger lots to the older lots, mm. he's well known. And uh, he has everyone's respect, everyone's. Like, whenever people hear, like, whenever people see him in the street, they'll salam him, say, How Even are you? And stuff like my that. My dad knows Derek. Yeah, and, and his dad's 55. And, like, much older than Derek. But the thing is, Derek definitely has worked a lot for the community. He's given so much gained, to the community. Yeah, and gained a lot of respect from the community. He's not that old, probably, but um, yeah, he's, he's gained a lot of experience. Um, respect he's always there for you he's you always there whenever you need to need help he's always there it's like he doesn't always like people think he helps the like, Bengali community because he's, he's living in the Bengali community so he, he helps every people Somali community he helps he everyone. Is, er, he's, anyone he's that everywhere. goes to him will help you out not a lot of people like Derek that in this community they haven't done as much as Derek yeah Derek there are people there there's but there's only one Derek in this community there's only and one be, Derek and it will be very hard to place so we wish he doesn't retire. Mm. And Basically, uh, uh, I, I like want to say, don't like the media. Yeah. Uh, and I want it's Derek's job. They're all bullshit, the media. Piss me off big time. <laughs> if I had a chance, <laughs> I'd sue them. <laughs>
I just want like for instance more white people or Chinese or different kind of more people to come in the school so that I can be friends with mixed people. Yeah, me too. Because mm. all the all the people we're friends with are Bengalians, mostly. My sister say that oh, why don't you make friends with English people? I say that I don't have English people in my class because I only have Bengali people. My sister goes out, go to another school, but I say no. They they keep my sister sometimes say that why do you hang around with Bengali people? They they're so they're bad and that and then um my sister goes go to another school and every time and she keeps cussing me saying that go to another school and then I don't I didn't go because I like my school and I like my friends. Um, I'm not. I'm not just trying to cuss all the Bengali people. I'm just saying that some small people are in newspapers like bombing the places. That's not like good. So why why do people always say Bengali people are the baddies and small people are the goodies? But some small people are bad and they bully Bengali people and saying Pakis and that. I like living in Brick Lane. At the beginning, when I first moved around here, I was about. When I was about three years old, my mum used to tell me that um, most of Bengalis were racist and, you know, they always used to have fights with my older brother and um, they used to always, you know, try, they always rude to my mum and saying racist comments, but now it's all right. Um, they kind of, they got used to other, what do you call it, Ethan, ethnics living in the area. I, um, my brother, he's 16, um, he's kind of, not a gangster, but he hangs around with the wrong people. Yeah, he speaks Bengali, Sileti, and um, he speaks Somali, English, and another foreign language, but I don't know about because he learned it in school. You know, in my area, I've lived there since I was born, and I'm used to it, but there's people that in the third floor that we hate, and they keep swearing at us. My little play for a water at my little sister, and then I get so annoyed, I start swearing at them. And sometimes I feel like going downstairs and doing something about it, but like, their mom doesn't even care. This day they were like swearing on my little sister, learn my sister swear words, and like, and then they got water and they threw at her, and then I got so angry, I wanted to do something about it, but then I couldn't because their mom was there. And she was only two years old. She's only about three. She's gonna be three. And they're about, they're about in year, year seven, year eight, going to be in year nine. I heard that um, in Brick Lane. The um, this white man got stabbed from these Bengali boys started stabbing him. That's all I heard. But um, I, I was wondering why the ambulance was um, on their way in Brick Lane. And my brother went there to see what happened and he said he told me how to. He told my mum and, you know, that this white man got stabbed by these Bengali boys. In Ivory Arm, they kind of live peacefully now. Yeah, um, they got used to Somali boys and Bengali boys kind of mixing together, but not all of them, not most, not all of the Bengali boys are, but they kind of got used to it, yeah. My area is um, it's better now because, you know, there used to be a lot of arguments. We were, whether, like, we were first like, the only Somalis there, but then new people used to come, Somalis, and it's better now because we made new Bengali friends in that, in that area. Yeah. The Bengali girls are better. Because um, they're more peaceful and more, immature. yeah, immature. Mature. But sometimes they could be rude. Yeah, sometimes they're rude, but they're more they're mature nice. than... They're nice girls. Yeah, they're more mature area. than boys. In my area, they're nice girls. My school is mixed. Yeah, my school's mixed as well. Everything is peaceful in our school, but sometimes the new year sevens come to school and they're Somali, they kind of get bullied by most of the Bengali boys and girls. When I grow up, I want to be a nurse because my cousin's planning to be a nurse and she kind of influenced me and I love working with children. And my mum wants me to be a nurse as well, so it's going to also make my mum happy as well. Um, I wanna, when I grow up, I want, in the future, when I grow up, I want to be um, um, a beautician or either a nurse because beautician is like um, getting to know other women and like their feelings and like where they go and everything and nursing is like helping other people and it's like you know in Islam you have to help one another and it's like the same as that. Somalis yeah some of them right they get into fights and this into other things and like they come home late and the parents don't know what they're doing and that. Somalis they're nice people because they like they help one another but it's just that, that they're, they're against us or something I don't know why.
I they're think not, it's because of all, our... They're not all against us, but some of them are. Yeah, I think it's against our... Because of our um, attitude and how we speak. act and speak and... This, you know, each other is full of Bengalis. You know, everywhere you look, it's like you see them. It's just, you're surrounded by them. Yeah, sometimes you want to just be away. New Avenue is, is important to me because it's a place where you can relax and just when you're bored or you just want to, you know, you want to go somewhere peaceful, you just yeah. go to New Avenues. Yeah. Yeah, and it's better because it's only Somalis. We make new friends, we're like cousins and relatives and friends. That's better. I think we should um, be mixed because it's better because we get to know each other a bit more peace and that. But it's just really so much it's a bit boring because it's only the same people around you, except for different people. Before, well, Derek, um, Derek, my youth worker, told me that there was a bit too many Somalis coming to the youth club and he, t he asked me, do you want to go on Sundays where it's Bengalis, kind of their day to go? And I said, I don't mind. And then when I went on Sundays, they were all nice to me. But some of the boys were kind of rude, but I got to, I got to know them and... Now we're kind of close friends, girls and boys. There used to be um, some Bengali people, like gardeners and that, but they're like old people. Mm, and yeah. we're wondering if we can help with the gardening or something, but whenever we go past, they always tell us to go out because they think we're going to ruin it or something. I think it's from both sides. Yeah, because Somali like to yeah. make fights and yeah. Bengali like to make fights. You know, like us here, when we come here, like um, all the cousins and that are friends, but we, we make separate um, sides, like, we have arguments, fights, like uh, we talk about each other, back chatting and everything. But it's everyone's still the same people, it's not different. Yeah. Islam is in, my religion is important to me because it's who I am it's, and it's a part of me. And um, I'm a Muslim and. Um, my parents are Muslim, so I grew, grew up in a Muslim family and a Muslim area. It's Islam and like, Muslims are more important to me and my religion because it's what I was born to be. And like, I don't pray just because I don't pray five times a day. doesn't mean I'm not Muslim again. But like, I, in Ramadan, and that I always go to the mosque and pray. And like, everyone's still the same people. We're all like Muslims, so I don't know why we're fighting and that. We're, born, we're all born to be Muslim. And, Christians in that, but I don't know why we're fighting. It's just dumb. Yeah. I don't get it. No, do I.
Look up.